I'm Deborah Warner and we're here today at Discovery 11 held by OCE where the best and brightest minds in science in Canada are right here showing what they've got. We are here today with the CEO of OCE, Tom Core. It's been a great success and every year it grows and we get more people and more companies coming so we're, we're very happy with the turnout this year. So I'd like to ask you what is Ontario Centre of Excellence, uh, what does it do and how could someone apply? Ontario Centres of Excellence has been around for 24 years now. Uh, we are funded primarily by the province but also by the federal government and our job is to help companies, both large ones and small ones, take advantage of the research, capability, research capabilities of colleges and universities in Ontario and taking those inventions and helping them grow by creating jobs and creating exports in Ontario. So we're all about economic development. So the purpose here is, first of all, to celebrate the many successes that the companies and the research institutions have had over the year, to look at some of the improvements that the companies have made over the last year or so, and, and generally for people to get together, connect the dots and, and help each other out and share ideas and see where they can work together. Everything from uh, devices that can literally map and read your brain to uh, artificial uh, tissue the surgeons can use to uh, practice uh, operations where before they'd have to use real skin or cadavers. Uh, there's hundreds of them all over the place and uh, it just it boggles the mind the uh, potential that these opportunities have going forward. We're here with Tom Kerber from Kerber Applied Research and what are you doing here at Discovery 11? Well, I'm presenting some new technology in the area of cancer treatment and called photodynamic therapy. Very, very high levels of light technology and also another technology that's been developed in the therapeutic side for people with carpal tunnel, for back pain, for knee pain and that kind of thing. So Emma, what is your company? Our company is a startup called Morgan Solar. We've created a new way of concentrating light for much cheaper solar power. It's concentrating about 900 times the light that would originally hit a surface to that cell. So the output is about 26% overall, which compares to about 16% for a silicon PV panel. So it's much more efficient and it's lower cost. And how has OCE helped with funding you guys and helping uh, you into the future? Uh, the OCE has been incredibly supportive of us. They've given us two uh, first jobs fund, which has enabled us to hire uh, two very uh, experienced uh, scientists and who've moved our technology forward a lot. My company is Interaxon. What we have here is a demo of thought control technology on a large scale 3D projector. So in this interaction you can control what's going on on the screen using your mind. So it's not people controlling your mind, it's your mind controlling the world. So ultimately this is the way that we're going to be engaging the world in the future. Just like voice activated technology has finally come into its own, 20 years down the road thought control technology is going to be a natural user interface. I attribute our success not necessarily to coming to a convention like this, but what this convention stands for, which is the support of innovations companies in Canada. So the support of the trade commissioners, institutions like Mars, um, innovations offices at universities, we have research relationships with the three, four major universities immediately around us. So all that this stands for, which is the support of innovations companies in Ontario, is something that's really allowed us to flourish. So Ron, why are you guys here at Discovery 11 today? It's a great spot for us to meet some of our clients and our partners because what we're trying to do in the Hamilton area is really create the innovation community. Innovation Factory is what's known as a regional innovation center. So what that is, it's a public-private group that is bringing together all of the innovation activity within the area of Hamilton. So we're helping create um, events, consulting, uh, mentoring, contests, a whole bunch of things in the community to really help high-tech uh, companies get started in Hamilton. And what do you hope to see in, for the future of Hamilton when it comes to innovation and technology? We've already met with a hundred companies in the area and that's already gotten us excited about what this can happen in this community. So we think in a few months or six to eight months we'll start seeing these companies grow and hiring more people and that's the end game is to get new high quality jobs starting in Hamilton. We're here with Martin Lord who is the 3D conference lead here at Discovery 11. So Martin, how has the reaction been to all the 3D news today? 
Oh, it's been it's been great. We've had really a lot of uh, renowned speakers and people who have not been together, put together in the same room, like people from Autodesk, from Sony Computer Entertainment, uh, from AMD, from NVIDIA, Digital Dynamic Depth. So we've got really, this morning was about gaming. So really it attracted a bit of a different crowd. Yesterday was more about film, conversion, and also also different kind of crowd. And this afternoon right now, we're gonna have in 10 minutes uh, another um, talk about 3D Beyond Entertainment, what are the other applications of 3D, and again, each of them are designed to bring a number of different people together and uh, spread the gospel. We're here with Michael and Tiago from Ryerson University, so what are you guys doing here today? What have you created? Um, essentially, it's a brain-controlled prosthetic device, and it's a full-arm prosthetic, and if you think about what you have to do when you lose your arm right now, is uh, you have to go to the States and get a, uh, basically a surgery to implant sensors within your chest in order to control a prosthetic device. So what we've created is a bypass for that surgery, so you don't have to get the surgery, so you decrease the price tenfold, and uh, basically when you think about moving the prosthetic, you move, it, it actually moves. The main idea is to get a connection inside the OHIP plan, so you can get the product inside the healthcare system. Once you do that, your product price decreases because the government can afford a marketable price. You know, the, the company, when you're asking for a value, that's the product if you put in the internet or if you put in the retail store. When the, you're dealing the product, the, the, the government, the product price is going to lower, lower, be lower a little bit. But it's better because you get more exposure because everyone has healthcare. So that will be the ideal situation. So what brings Sponge Lab to Discovery 11? Wow, uh, we've been involved with OCE for a number of years and Sponge Lab as a business was started in 2007 and in early 2008 we got a, a grant from OCE to help build some of our very first games and our very first game platform. Sponge Lab uh, at, at a very high level is an educational gaming company and we um, Right now we do a lot of things, we build stuff for other people and other organizations, but we build our own products and it's both content and platform. So we, we use computer gaming technology, we use game mechanics and game approaches to captivate a user, uh, immerse them in a, in a learning environment, but provide really powerful tools for educators to look at how are they engaging with the content. And would you encourage other business owners uh, to come to Discovery? Yeah, no, Discovery is a great meeting. You get a mix of all kinds of businesses. I mean, you look around this room, you see educational games, you see uh, wind, wind, uh, wind generation technology, solar technology, green, renewable, re it's, it's a mix of everything. And it's, it's very rare to find a conference or a meeting of people that brings those, those diverse backgrounds together.